it's Friday and it's the last week of our theme of We're Different, We're the Same. We're always learning about that theme, but this is the last week that we are going to really explore it. Um, so next week we've got Mrs Mason doing all the videos and she has got a really exciting topic that does follow on from our inspiration book of Here We Are. Um, I can't wait to see Mrs. Mason's videos. They're gonna be really exciting. And I know that you're going to be reading and learning about a lot of new exciting things and people as well. So last activity for today in literacy of the week, it's going to be another story because I think that's the best way that we learn um, about this topic. Um, from having lots of lovely discussion and seeing it represented in lots of different ways through storytelling. Storytelling is super powerful. We learn all sorts of messages through storytelling. So um, because we're learning from home, I think it's the best medium that we can use. And I've got a really fun book that the children love and it's called <gasps> Chatterbox Bear. And it's really funny. I thought I'd finish off on Friday with a really funny story of all about a polar bear who lands on a different tropical island and he does not speak bird. He doesn't understand what is happening. And I think this book is so exciting and has a really nice message as well because it's all about working together and again, acceptance and how, how we might be different. We might speak different languages. Um, but that shouldn't make a difference to how we treat people and how we talk to one another. Even if we're not sure what the other person is saying, we can communicate in different ways uh, by being really friendly and open and smiley. And we're gonna find out what happens to Chatterbox Bear. Are you ready? Let's join in. Chatterbox Bear by Pippa Koenig. Rawr. Gary was the world's biggest chatterbox. He chatted everywhere to everyone all the time. Rawr, 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 in the bath. Rawr, 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 in the supermarket. And even in the library. Rawr, 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 shh. The other bears just wanted some peace and quiet. He's a bit funny, isn't he? It made Gary very sad. Somebody somewhere must like chatting as much as I do. He's feeling a bit lonely, maybe. So Gary packed his bag. Rawr. Patched up his old boat. Rawr and set out to find someone to chat to. Rawr, rawr, rawr. He is excited. He's even taking his rubber ring with him. At first, it was plain sailing. Look, the waves are nice and smooth. Well, they look a bit choppy, but they look like they're nice and safe. But look, but soon the sea got choppy and then the boat sprang a leak. Bear overboard! Uh oh, look, Gary. At least he's got his snorkeling gear on. That's going to come in handy. Luckily, Gary spotted a teeny tiny island. Hooray! Oh, look, he's safe. He's found some land. Dot, the bird, was hopping along the beach when she saw Gary. Hello, said Gary, raising his amazing big black eyebrow. Oh, look, there it is. Hello, said Dot. But bears don't speak, bird. And all Gary heard was squawk. And birds don't speak bear. So all Dot heard was rawr. Oh, dear. Oh, no, they don't understand one another. Dot called her friends. Maybe they could speak bear. Squawk, 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 squawk. But Gary couldn't understand a word. 
So not even Dot's friends understood, Gary. Oh, look at all the different types of birds. That one looks a bit like a toucan, that one there. We've got some parrots. Oh, wow, I think, yeah, we're definitely on a tropical island just from looking at all the different types of birds that are here. I like this one. I think he's found Gary's snorkeling gear. Just then, Gary's tummy rumbled. I'm so hungry, said Gary, wobbling his eyebrow. Oh, yeah, his eyebrow's gone all wobbly. Rumble. The birds were baffled. Hmm, I wonder what that word means, baffled. I think they're feeling a little bit confused. Squawk, squawk. Does he want to build a nest, wondered Dot. No, growled Gary. So I think they've taken him up to the nest and he's thinking, no, I don't want to build a nest, I'm hungry. But I wonder why they can't understand him. They don't speak bear. They only speak bird. Roar! I really want some lemonade, said Gary, wibbling his eyebrow. Has he got an itch? Guessed Dot. So poor Dot is trying to figure out what Gary wants and she's gone and got, <laughs> it looks like a puffer fish to scratch Gary's back. They're trying to help him. But Gary is thinking, no, no, yelled Gary. Roar. And I'm very hot, said Gary, with a ginormous frown. Can you show me your frown? Oh, I'm frowning right now. Maybe he's trying to fly, suggested Dot. And look, they're lifting him up so that he is flying. He looks a bit shocked. No, 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 roared Gary. Gary's eyebrow gave a tremendous wibble wobble. I just want to chat, but nobody understands me. And he burst into tears. <laughs> Dot had been watching Gary very carefully and she suddenly let out a great squawk. Look at his eyebrow. It's all droopy and sad. Maybe he can tell us other things with his eyebrow. <gasps> She's come up with an idea. Dot handed Gary a stick. He drew his eyebrow shapes in the sand next to a picture of what each one meant. Oh, look, he's drawing a key. So wibbly wobbly eyebrows mean hungry. Loop-de-loop -loop eyebrows mean thirsty. And a big, that looks like Maisie Mountain Mountain, doesn't it? A mm sound eyebrow means he's very, very hot. And a smiley face eyebrow means he's happy. I know, let's all learn to speak bear, said Dot. But first, we need eyebrows of our own. <gasps> I wonder what's gonna happen. In fact, I think the next page is going to be super funny. I really like this next page. Are you ready? <gasps> Soon there were eyebrows everywhere. <laughs> Seaweed eyebrows, leaf eyebrows, <gasps> fuzzy bug eyebrows. He looks really funny, doesn't he? String eyebrows, stick eyebrows, and my favorite, Prawn eyebrows, oh my goodness. And wiggly worm eyebrows. <gasps> Look, they're making all the different shapes from their key so that they can talk to Gary. I absolutely love this, it's so funny. All the birds began copying Gary's eyebrow movement. Oh look, so they're talking to each other now and they're understanding each other because they've learned how to use their eyebrows to something we call communicate, which means to talk to each other and understand what each other's saying. And slowly but surely, they all started to speak the same language. What a discovery! Oh, look, he's really happy. I think everybody looks really happy. Dot's got great ideas, hasn't she? 
We love our eyebrows, said Dot, and we love talking bear. They celebrated with crab cakes and seaweed donuts. Ugh, Gary's favourite. I don't know if I want a seaweed donut. They look like they're having a fabulous time, though. And they drank lovely bubbly lemonade by moonlight. I think I really like the way that sounds when I say it. Can you say it? Lovely bubbly lemonade. Lovely bubbly lemonade. Oh, that's a fun sentence to say. It was a perfect eyebrow party. The only thing that made it even more perfect was... Oh, look. They brought him a shirt. Dancing! Come on, Gary! Follow our eyebrows and dance, said Dot. And they look like they're having the best time. Gary's even got his own maracas and a Hawaiian-themed shirt. I love it. The pictures are so fun. This book makes me really happy. Gary was the happiest he'd ever been. I'd like to stay here with you, he said, wibbling and wobbling his eyebrow. You're all such a lovely bunch of chatterboxes. Oh, that's lovely. So he managed to find a group of friends that wanted to talk just as much as he does. What's happening now, though? What's this? Can you see? Somebody is coming to the island. I wonder who? Just then, the bird spotted something far out at sea. It was getting closer and closer. Oh, look, somebody's selling the eyebrows there so you can buy different ones. It was a dog! Hello, said Gary. Oh, uh, woof, said Barry, waving his gigantic moustache. Oh, my goodness, look, it's massive. That big moustache. He looks amazing. Oh, said Dot. Um, can anybody speak dog? What do you think they're going to have to do now? They're going to have to think of a new way, I think. Oh, look here. Someone's put want to talk dog. Moustache is for sale. So they're trying. To, maybe they'll do the same thing with moustaches. They'll draw a key for their moustaches to see what they mean so they can learn to speak dog. I love that story. It is so great. That story is super fun and a really good way to end the week, I think. We have done so much lovely listening to stories this week. I've had a fabulous time. I hope you have too. And I hope you managed to do some of the activities from the videos. And this story is so great. It's about, you know, learning how to listen to one another and accept each other and talk to one another on lots of different ways. Um, our children are really good at doing that. So we're really super proud. If you want today, it would be great if you wanted to draw a picture of the story or maybe you want to write a sentence about what your favourite book this week has been. It could be like a mini book report. My favourite book this week has been uh, probably Julian is a Mermaid. And the reason is because, one of my favourite words, uh, my favourite book is Julian is a mermaid because I really love the message of acceptance and um, celebrating everybody's differences, making everybody feel comfortable in their own bodies and um, belonging. That's really important. That's all that we want to do, isn't it? Um, so I really think um, I would love to know actually uh, what your favourite book has been. So if you want to do a little video message or you want to write a sentence or you want to show me a picture of what your favourite book is, anything that you like, I would love to know um, what your favourite part of this week's learning has been. Um, there's lots of resources online for inclusive books for children. Uh, feel free to Google some. Uh, Amazon have a really good selection. I know our local bookstores are only just open now so maybe you want to order online um, and feel free to email me because I've got lots and I'll be happy to give you a list if you want to include some more inclusive books in your home that talk about celebrating differences and anything that you think is important for your child to learn about through storytelling. So have a great week and I shall see you soon. I miss you lots 
and Dylan says goodbye. He's fast asleep again. Um, have a good week. Bye.